Hey everybody, it's Evan Abrams, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to, I guess, uh, fake like you're seeing some kind of a thing floating over your city. This is Ottawa, Ontario, um, the view from my third floor apartment, and uh, as you can see, we've gone ahead and added uh, the Death Star up there, because uh, I guess this is what Alderaan saw right before things uh, got chunky for them. So uh, let me just uh, play for you what we're going to be making, if you haven't seen it already. Wasn't that fantastic. Um, so uh, let's get started. What you want to do is grab your camera, um, go to your local window. If you have a basement apartment, then go outside. If that's painful, wait till later and then go outside. Um, but well, either way, you're going to want to capture some video. Now bring it into your After Effects and drag it into the new composition. Uh, I had quite a bit of uh, stuff going on, uh, but we really only need uh, a small part of it. So go ahead and find a, a bunch of it's going to be easy for you to track. Um, I went ahead and decided I'm going to use this building over here, so I want to have uh, enough of a time while it's in frame. So we're going to trim our timeline. We're going to hit N when we found an appropriate end point for our timeline, and we're going to find an appropriate beginning. How about over here? Press B, and we'll have a B beginning and N end to our work area. Right click on your work area, the gray bar, and trim the comp to the work area. Um, which has now got us trimmed down to this. Now next we're going to want to track things. Uh, After Effects has a good tracker in it, but we're going to use uh, the Mocha uh, add-in that comes with it. So what we're going to do is select your timeline, Go Command M, make a composition into a movie. Um, here, where it says lossless, go ahead and click on that. Format. No, we want to change the format to a JPEG sequence. Okay, let's choose where we're going to put it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my desktop, and we're going to put it into a new folder right there. And just go ahead and hit save. Um, that should do it. And hit render. While this is happening, you could think about where you're going to get your uh, picture of the Death Star from. I recommend Google Images, because that's probably the easiest way to find anything. And don't worry, don't worry about copyright, because I guarantee you no one will ever pay money for you to superimpose the Death Star into their footage. And if they are paying you, then you should build them also for like building the model out of toothpicks and then having to photograph it yourself and then uh, just add on a whole bunch of ridiculous little clauses like that just have an itemized toothpick menu for having to build the Death Star out of toothpicks and it finished, we're winners um, before we go into Mocha, let's uh, learn a little bit about our clip. Uh, all we need to remember are these settings here, and if we don't want to remember them, we'll just uh, tab between them. So we're going to want to pick up Mocha for After Effects, um, version 2. Uh, you're going to go up here to create a new project. You're going to choose your clip, which we know is on the desktop sequence. And uh, just to be safe, I always start with the one that's all zeros. Open that up. It's going to ask you some questions about uh, what you're putting in. And this is where the information we want from here is. So remember, your frame rate is 23.976, or whatever your frame rate is. It is indeed HD. You are correct. Uh, are there 613 frames? There are! Fantastic. So that's good. Go ahead and hit OK. Um, 
The Mocha interface can be daunting, but uh, there are only a few things that you actually want to use at this stage. We're going to create uh, a spline using this thing. Um, let's zoom in to the area where we're going to place it. Hand to move us around. Let's make the spline. And we want to stick it to the corners of uh, things that we know are not going to be moving around and have good contrast. So this has good contrast. That has good contrast. There is a good corner there. That looks like a quality corner right there. Ooh, this one looks nice as well. Let's grab that. And let's finish off with this window down here. That's a nice little dark window in the little bright world. So that's good. And click on your original um, point to close it. You see it has a little uh, circle that comes up next to your cursor. Close it off. Um, you're going to want to refine these points um, down so they are right on what you want. Because uh, once this thing starts tracking, I'm going to go get a sandwich. And I want to I have faith that it'll work. You want to get these points right onto the edges so it'll it'll define a nice solid tracking okay so that's that you press this fancy button here this one track forwards and it'll play through and oh forgot this one it'll play through merrily tracking and uh, again while it's tracking you could consider you know a lot of things you could do some guided meditation you could read a book if you're like me, you could read a book with your ears, um, because that's difficult. Uh, for some reason, working with motion graphics has ruined my ability to read. Um, but other than that, I think I'm fine. Uh, try not to worry about not looking at it. Uh, Mocha is pretty consistent, and you could probably go and do something else. Like I should go buy more RAM. So I'm not sitting here waiting for things to track as long. Probably the best use of my time right now. Or finding new clients to do things for. That'd be good use of my time too. Oh, well, looks like it's done. Uh, Mocha doesn't think it's important to make a beeping noise or anything when it's done, so it just is. Uh, what we're going to do is we will be exporting the track data. We'll be exporting it as, not this one, but the last one, After Effects Transform Data, Data, Anchor Point, Position, Scale, and Rotation. Go ahead and do that, and copy it to your clipboard. Now you can't see it, but your clipboard is now full of a lot of junk. Um, go here on your timeline. Good thing you kept that open. Uh, new Null Object. Um, Put your cursor, uh, hit home to move you to the uh, start of your animation. Now control V, paste that on. All right, that looks good. Um, it doesn't come in perfectly. Um, for example, there's some stuff that we don't really care about. Uh, scale is not going to be important to us. Um, neither is uh, anchor point, really. Um, so delete that, and for simplicity's sake, let's uh, right-click on the anchor point and click Reset so it appears uh, where we expect it. Um, and when you scrub through, you can see, hey, it's done a pretty good job of sticking that null object to that building over there. It's kind of taken an average of all of the points that we selected, we put on, and has stuck it nicely on there. So even though my horrendous camera skills would otherwise ruin this shot um, it has in fact uh, been passable so we've got our null object on there I went ahead and got this picture of a Death Star already let's just drag that out there woo that looks good that is that's I'm I'm done right now um, so we put that on uh, a few things you'll notice is that all the shadows in our scene are on this side, while the shadows on the Death Star are on the other side. So let's 
pull open the scale, unlink its properties, set the first one to minus 100, so at least we have the shadows on the right side, link them back up, uh, scale this down to where you might be comfortable, mm, no, where you'll be comfortable looking at it, uh, let's just drag this thing, that should be good. Um, thankfully space is black and that affords us the ability to just go change it to screen um, and now it looks kinda like the moon that's no moon it's a space station anyway uh, you've got uh, Death Star you're gonna wanna parent that using this pick whip or you can use the parent menu to the null object, meaning when you move around, it's sticking right there. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is so good already. Um, so that's basically it for sticking things into your scene. Um, everything else from here on out is going to be gravy. Uh, what you're going to want to do is... Uh, Break out your curves, put a curves adjustment on this. Um, you can make it darker to remove more of it. You can make it lighter to add more of it. Uh, I wanted to take more out myself, um, like so. Uh, other things to consider doing is to add a, a blur. Uh, just a fast blur is fine. At three, because I'm pretty sure my focal depth was not in the atmosphere pretty sure you never know you never really know um, now some other things to make it appear more natural that this is in here pull up the position by hitting P uh, the scale by shift S and the rotation shift R um, set a keyframe for each of these at the beginning um, and then go ahead to the end and just add like two degrees of rotation um, just add like a tiny bit of translation across or a little bit of scale maybe scale a little bit closer so that it's like the the Death Star is kinda of moving looming I mean it's not a moon so it's gonna have some motion to it if it's coming into focus on your planet um, so that's what you can do to kind of make that a little bit more integrated. Uh, go ahead and go new adjustment layer to start making some uh, some color correction uh, choices. Um, I'm going to use the levels. I don't usually use levels, but uh, in this case I am. So then you can kind of just help out your scene overall. Uh, you'll notice that my white balance was atrocious doing this it's not my fault I was busy uh, maybe some tint tinner tint uh, this 25 percent tint and uh, so before after before after yeah that's how to put the Death Star into the scene if you have any questions uh, put them in the comments uh, I like to Spent a lot of time responding to people. Uh, I appreciate everybody's support on the on the, the text tutorial last time. That was great. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, you know, subscribe if you want to see more really sarcastic tutorials. Um, I'm gonna try to do more, but as you can see, I've been pretty lax on that. Probably because I have things to do with my day. But hopefully, it works out for you guys. Um, just uh, let me know if there's anything that you'd like to learn. Um, I have a whole lot of nerdy information floating around in my brain. Uh, again, uh, I'm Evan Abrams, and this has been hopefully under 15 minutes of your day. Uh, enjoy. Let me know what you do. Post a, a video response of what you come up with or what you stick into a scene. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, enjoy.